Hello everybody. In this video, I'm going to show you how to remove the back panel on a Dell XPS laptop. Now there's a few things that you need in order to remove the screws on the back. The first thing is I'm going to use a, a well stick. So it's a Xiaomi well stick and the screw bit that you need is a T5 screw bit so there's actually 10 screws T5 screws that you need to remove from the back panel I'm just gonna go through each one and remove it it's pretty straightforward they're very small so just make sure you don't lose any of these screws so as I said there's 10 that needs to be removed it's just across the edges of the back panel of the laptop. Now once you remove all these 10 screws, just make sure they're all together, don't lose any. So I'm up to my ninth one. So this is the last one, the tenth one. So the Xiaomi well stick is pretty handy. It does have a as you can see an LED light. Now you need a Phillips screwdriver so the, the T5 does not work as you can see it does not work so you actually need to get a Phillips head screwdriver to remove these two screws. So in total there is 12 screws that needs to be removed in order to open the back panel. So this is a Phillips head screwdriver. So keep these two separate. So there's two Phillips head screws. Just keep those separate. So it will be easier to identify when you actually put it back together. It's pretty straightforward removing this panel. You won't have any problems. So just removing the 12th screw now. Once you remove that screw, the next step is to get something thin that can open and separate the back panel with the main laptop uh, base. What I'm going to use is I've got a kit that has all these plastic, plastic uh, edges you can use these to just separate the panel as you can see I'm gonna use this triangle shape one it's a blue one and just slide it in and slide it across all the way around which makes it easier it just separates the the clips there you go it already can open it up so this is the motherboard and all the other items in the laptop so there's an SSD card that you can use to remove so if you remove this SSD card you can upgrade it or you can just retrieve the contents from the SSD there's also these two memory modules if you're looking to upgrade the memory, so going from 4 megs, so 2 4 megs to 8 megs, all you have to do is replace these memory chips. Now whilst you have the back cover open, you notice there's two, two fans with the heat sink. The fans has a little bit of dust on it. So I'm going to use this Xiaomi, as you can see, a lot of, I've got a lot of Xiaomi products. Just use the Xiaomi vacuum cleaner. Just get rid of any dust. Just give it a good clean. The fans do collect quite a bit of dust. So when you give it a good clean, you'll notice a big difference. There's also some around the heat sinks. Also, remove the vents. There's uh, some dust there, so just vacuum the vents as well. Remove all the dust as much as you can. Just keep it nice and clean. 
I really like this uh, Xiaomi portable vacuum cleaner. I did another video. You can look at my Xiaomi playlist just to see all the other Xiaomi products I have. And this vacuum cleaner is really nice and handy to have. It's very portable, so you can carry it around with you. Just use it to clean small things. I'm just going to put all the back cover on. Just align the holes and just slightly push it down. You won't hear any clips or anything. As long as you've got the, the holes aligned, just go through the process and put the screws back in and that's it. So this uh, electric well stick, just use the, the little controls on the side to insert and open it up. Just make sure you've got the screws aligned correctly, otherwise you're going to have difficulty putting the screws back in. As you can see, the screw's not really aligned, so I've just got just to make sure that it's perfectly aligned. Otherwise, you're going to remove and stuff up the, the thread. Good thing with the well stick as well is that you can use the the actual pen and just you can t tighten it manually as well so if you're running out of the battery you can still either replace the battery or just manually turn it let's so try this screw again it's a bit fiddly Another trick that you can do is uh, the tips, if you want to make them magnetic, just get a, a magnet and rub the tip. That way the screws will stick and magnetize, so it stick with the, 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 the bits. Just go through, just put them all back. The process is very easy and, sh and straightforward, nothing very difficult, you just got to make sure you have the right parts. So once again, you need a T5 screw bit, you can buy a kit online, it's not very expensive, as long as you got the, the T5 screw bit, it's, it looks like a star basically, you can use it for other devices. Phillips head screwdriver, it's, it's straight and easy, you probably have that around somewhere, so it's not too difficult to, to access, it's just this T5 screw bit. If you get the Xiaomi well stick, it will come with that actual bit, you don't need to buy the actual bits. The T5 one is included as part of the package. You can see on the left hand side here in the tube, it's got all the different bit sizes. Now we're going to put the, the the last screw in. Once we put that in, there's two more. So under the this flap, there's two Phillips head screws. Just need to put those back and we're done. Let's do that right now and let's get the, the flap. Just to do the final ones. Let's, let's put the, the two under the flap back and we're done. All up, it should take you around 10 minutes or less to remove the panel, check the insides, give it a clean, and put it back on. It's around 10 minutes. Let's put the Phillips head screws back on. Of 
obviously you need to use the Phillips head screwdriver. So I was trying to use the wow stick. Silly me. Okay. It's one screw. The last one. And that's it. Let's put that in and then we're all done. So, and we're finished. If this video has helped you in any way, give it a like and subscribe to the channel.